So our last video was about that how to convert a simple spectacles prescription into contact lens prescription. But this video we will extend this video and in this video we will learn that how to convert a toric spectacles prescription into toric contact lens prescription. So we will discuss three different examples and our first example is in which spherical and cylinder both are in with plus sign. We have plus 9 spherical and we have plus 6 cylinder at 90 degree. So now this is our toric spectacles prescription and what is toric prescription? Toric prescription is a prescription in which we have both of sphere and cylinder. We have both prescription right. So we have sphere in plus form we have cylinder in plus form. So as we have sphere and cylinder in a same prescription so that is a toric prescription and now we will apply the formula and you know very well about the formula which is spectacle prescription over 1 minus back vertex distance into spectacles prescription. The formula is the same and now the first thing you know very well that we have three different steps in spectacles to contact lens prescription and the first step was the optical cross and how we make how we can develop an optical cross in this formula we have plus 9 spherical and we have plus 6 cylinder at 90 degree right so we will take one of them as spherical and <coughs> and we, we know it the axis of the cylinder are 90 degree right and our spherical is plus 9 so we will put our spherical at 90 meridian because the axis of the cylinder are 90 degree because the axis of the cylinder are 90 degree then we will put our spherical at 90 meridian so our spherical is plus 9 so we will put plus 9 at 90 meridian because axis of the cylinder are 90 this is the rule right and now another meridian is 180 degree so plus 9 is spherical so it means spherical power is all based at 360 degree at every meridian the power is the same the power is plus 9 including 180 degree but specifically plus 6 cylinder have axis 90 so you know very well that always a cylindrical power has two principal meridian one is power meridian another one is axis meridian and axis meridian and power meridian both are 90 degree apart so for example if axis of the cylinder are 90 degree then the power would be at 90 degree apart that would be at 180 degree so if axis are 90 power would be at 180 degree right so plus 6 which is actually power and that would be at 180 degree right so as we have discussed that spherical is 360 degree and specifically the power of the cylinder would be at 180 degree so we will add both of these values and when we add plus 9 and plus 6 that would be plus 15 diopters. So we have developed accurate optical cross and now we will apply the formula on both of these values right. So let's apply the formula. So our first meridian is 90 and the power is 9.00 so spectacles prescription and spectacle prescription is plus 9 over 1 minus bvd 1 minus bvd you know very well that back vertex distance right the distance between the anterior of the cornea and posterior of the lens spectacles lens right that specific distance is called the back vertex distance and for example the back vertex distance of our patient is 14 millimeter 14 millimeter but if you remember if you have watched my last video then i have explained that if your back vertex distance is in millimeter then you have to convert that unit of millimeter into meter if you want to put your back vertex distance value in this formula you have to convert your back vertex distance from millimeter to meter and when I will convert the formula I will convert this value of millimeter into meter then the value would be 
0.014 meter. So 14 millimeter. And when we convert this meter into me this millimeter into meter, then the value would be 0.014. Now this back vertex distance is now in meter unit. And now again 1 minus BVD, 1 minus BVD into spectacles prescription. Now again spectacles prescription, which is plus 9. And now we will solve it plus 9 over 1 minus. So first we will multiply these two values 0 0.014 into plus 9. The answer would be 0 0.126. Right? We, we have multiplied these two values 0 0.014 into plus 9. And the answer would be 0 0.126. And now again. Now 1 minus 0 0.126 and when we will sub subtract 0 0.126 from 1, the answer would be 0 0.874, right? And now we will divide plus 9 with 0 0.874 and the answer would be 10.25. So we have... Solved our one value which is which was plus 9 and the answer is 10.25 which is in plus sign and now we will apply the formula here at plus 15 now formula is the same spectacles prescription which is plus 15.00 1 minus bvd bvd is you know very well 0 0.014 meter into spectacles prescription again which is plus 15 and now we will solve it again plus 15 1 minus we will multiply these two values 0 0.014 into 15 and the answer would be 0 0.21 right and now plus 15 now 1 minus 0. 1 minus 0.21 the answer would be 0.79 right and now when we divide 15 with 0.79 the answer would be plus 19.00 now in this case when our spherical was plus 15 and we applied the formula and the net value is plus 19 so we have two values now in case of plus 9, the value is 10.25. In case of 15, the value is 19.00. Right? And now we will gain our final contact lens toric prescription. And now our spherical was at 90 degree. You know very well. Our spherical was at 90 degree. And the net value at 90 degree is 10.25. So I am going to write the final prescription. And my spherical is plus 10.25 now for the uh, cylinder we have to move from 10.25 to 19 and when we will move from 10.25 to 19 the answer would be 8.75 and what about the sign actually we are moving from lesser plus to greater plus so we are actually moving towards the plus direction so the answer so the sign of the cylinder would be in plus and axis are the same which are 90 degree so this is the final prescription which is 10.25 cylinder is 8.75 and axis are 90 and why axis are 90 because if our spherical correction is at 90 degree then the axis of the cylinder would be at 90 degree i hope this is clear and now let's take another example and in this example we have a toric prescription and in this prescription both sphere and cylinder are with minus signs we have minus 10 sphere we have minus 5 cylinder at 90 degree right so now let's apply the formula the procedure is the same so first we will apply an optical cross so you know very well our cylinder minus 5 and excess of the cylinder is 90 so when excess of the excess of the cylinder is 90 
we will put our spherical at 90 meridian so we have 90 meridian we have 180 meridian right and axis of the cylinder are 90 then we will put our spherical at 90 meridian and our spher spherical is 10.00 so we will put at 90 degree and 90 apart meridian is 180 and you know very well that 10 is spherical and you know very well that spherical always will be at 360 degree the power would be the same at every meridian in case of spherical but in case of cylinder we have two principal meridian one is axis meridian and another one is power meridian and power meridian and axis meridian are 90 apart so axis are 90 degree then the power would be at 180 degree so it means collectively at 90 degree at sorry at 180 degree the power will be maximum so minus 10 is there at 180 degree because 360 degree power is the same right but in case of cylinder minus 5 is at 180 degree power is at 180 degree because axes are at 90 degree right so at 180 meridian the power will be double 10 and 5 so we have minus 10 we have minus 5 minus and minus always plus so we will add both of these values algebraically and the resultant power will be plus 15 right and what about the sign so we have minus sign with the greater value the sign would be minus so we have minus 15 and we have minus 10 at 90 degrees so this is optical cross and now let's apply the formula spectacle prescription first we will resolve this 90 meridian and the spectacles prescription is minus 10.00 1 minus bvd bvd is the same 0 0.014 into again spectacles prescription which is minus 10 so when we multiply 0 0.014 and 10 the answer would be 0 0.1 4. Now again, so we, when we divide 0 0.014 with 10, the answer was 0 0.14, but in minus. So right now we have 2 minus, 1 minus is with the 1 and 1 minus is with the 0 0.14. So we have 2 minus and minus is minus is always plus so we will add these two values algebraically so 1 plus 0 0.14 will be 1.14 right this is so simple and when we divide 1.14 with 10 the answer would be minus 8.50 you can use your calculator as well so when we resolve minus 10 as spectacles prescription the resultant net value is 8.50 which is less than the spectacles prescription and now we will do the same thing with this minus 15 so spectacles prescription and spectacles prescription is minus 15 1 minus bvd bvd is 0 0.014 into again spectacles prescription minus 15 So 1 minus we will multiply 0 0.014 with minus 15 right and the answer would be 0 0.21 right but in minus right so again so minus and minus we have 2 minus again 1 minus with 1 and 1 minus with 0 0.21 and minus and minus will be plus so we will add these two values and the resultant answer will, will be 1 minus 2 1 and when we will divide these two values the answer would be minus 12.25 so we have got two different values when we take this as practical prescription the answer is minus 8.5 and when we take this minus 15 as our spherical spectacles prescription the answer is minus 12.25 and now we will 
take we will get the final toric contact lens prescription and how we will take one of them as spherical and what will be the spherical because we put our spherical at 90 meridian so we will take this one minus 8.5 as spherical so again the final prescription and spherical is minus 8.5 and when we will move for the sake of cylinder, we will move from 8.50 to 12.25. And the answer would be 3.75. And what about the sign? We are moving from lesser minus to greater minus. So the sign will be in minus. And what about the axis of the cylinder? So because our spherical was at 90 degree, so it because spherical is at 90 degree then the axis of the cylinder will be at 90 degree so minus 8.5 with minus 3.75 at 90 degree this is the final toric contact lens prescription now this is your assignment that you will solve an example with spherical with plus sign and cylinder with minus sign i hope all the concepts regarding the conversion of spectacles prescription into toric contact lens prescription is clear. We'll see you in the next videos.